Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of DIY Web Strategy Labs. And in today's lab, we're setting up a localized Docker WordPress development environment. So there are just a few things that you need to have for this. One of them is going to be Visual Studio Code. I'm going to leave a link in the description to download that and install it. Another one is Node Version Manager. I'll leave a link in the description to install that. Okay, so uh, we'll also need uh docker i believe yes docker desktop so let's start with the first one it says install node development tools right okay so in order to do that basically here's the no version manager uh link that we just clicked through and um Here's how you install it. It's the same here as it is for uh, here on the WordPress in the WordPress documentation. But we'll use Visual Studio Code to use the terminal to uh, set up our WordPress environment. So here I have Visual Studio Code already open. Uh, I have a term terminal open already to WordPress local uh, uh, directory. I created a Docker directory for my root and then uh, another folder called WordPress local and then installed a uh, fresh installation of WordPress. So, uh, yeah, that was the other thing that I needed to let you guys know. You need a fresh uh, WordPress uh, installation. Um, so you need to download. I'll leave a link to download WordPress as well. And uh, then you could put this onto your local machine. Uh, then you paste the link or uh, paste the command. But I'm not going to actually run this command because I already have it. And then after you run that command, it'll take probably about, you know, two or five minutes for it to run. Then you come back here and uh, you, well, actually, let's go back. Make sure we quit the terminal. open up a new terminal make sure I quit that first one okay we opened up a new terminal now let's go back and uh, install node.js 14 version 14 copy that then paste it over here I'm not going to actually enter this command because I already have node version 14, but uh, it'll let you know that it, cause it only take a few, like a minute for it to install, but it'll let you know if you uh, need to have any dependencies installed or anything like that. If you do just make sure you Google it and it'll probably give you some commands to fix it. But yeah, you shouldn't have any problems with installing uh, NVM version 14. Uh, then um, it's time to start setting up the WordPress development uh, site. So first we got to download, download and install Docker desktop, right? Okay. So um, yeah, install and start docker desktop so we already have docker desktop you would go here uh click this download it 
uh, once it finishes downloading, run the installation, run the run the file, run the installation, and then uh, the file will uh, once the installation is complete, uh, you run Docker, and then uh, this is what you'll end up having. I have my containers already running, but you won't have any containers here. It'll be asking you to, uh, you know, start up your first Docker container, but you won't need to start them from here. Just make sure that you have Docker uh, desktop running, and then uh, that's that's all you need right there. So now next thing we're gonna do is we're going to come back to here to the uh, WordPress documentation site. And then we're gonna copy this command and paste it back over in our terminal. I'm not gonna run this command either because I already uh, have WordPress installed and uh, I've already uh, activated my Docker container with the Docker Compose uh, YML file. So that's what this is here. So these are basically just instructions to start up your local WordPress environment and uh, here, the next very next thing that you need to do after you install WordPress and then uh, get the uh, Docker. Matter of fact, let's take a look at the Docker container. This is what it looks like once you get it. Uh, once you've run it for the first time, there's like now it's running mainly because I uh, never really turned it off. But um, so we're, let's go back and copy WP ENV dash or dash ENV start. And uh, we're going to paste that over in the terminal and this will start up uh, the Docker local environment, local host environment. And that should get us going with uh, WordPress. Okay. It, it, this isn't my first time doing this. This is actually the second, but the first time doing it, it'll take probably about maybe five minutes or so. So just be prepared for that. But uh, once it says done and be patient with it, if it doesn't, if, if you don't see it like stalled or anything completely, cause it'll show a little, uh, you know, that little ticker, but um, it's a little animation that'll show and it'll keep showing that until it's done, but don't stop it. Okay. Uh, just let it keep running until it says done right here. Like it does right here. All right, so that has gotten our WordPress uh, local installation set up. Now uh, let's go to local WordPress. So here is the local WordPress. I've already got the site up and running. So yeah, I refreshed the page, but yeah the dashboard is already running. We got a few updates we got to create, but yeah, this is all it takes. Uh, when it first, when you, so like when you first are setting it up, it's going to start up like this and then you're going to have to enter uh, admin password. And that's it, because basically, uh, um, don't tell me that was wrong. Okay, I was gonna say, <laughs> but yeah, basically that's what is here in the um, 
WordPress database that's set up locally. You don't really have to worry about securing that because this isn't a website that's going to go live, but this is where you can develop your themes and your plugins and whatever else you want to do. Like maybe you want to fix a bug for Gutenberg. You want to fix a bug for uh, a plugin or something like that. Uh, anything that's open source out there, you can do it this way. Um, just, you know, get yourself VS code, um, download the WordPress installation and get to work. It's no problem. But I hope you guys liked this video and found some value in it. Hit that thumbs up button if you did. And uh, leave a comment if you have any questions. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.